What is going on YouTube? Paul here from Voltage Motorworks. Today's video I just want to cover a little bit on the different factories, brands, and why a person would want to choose a WePad over the many different other brands that are out there. So first off, the mainstream brands that you'll see uh, that are predominantly in the market right now are the multi-brand factories. So let's say the Apollos, the V-Sets, the Cabos, the Nan Robots, the Varla Scooters. Those are built in one or two of the more common factories that are more of the mainstream factories. So very good scooters still, a decent price range. Uh, many of them are using uh, Asian components from China, Chinese components, of course, um, Chinese batteries or... Uh, some will say Panasonic, LG, or Samsung. So it, it varies, but you know consumers just have to do their their homework when they're searching for scooters to make sure um, what they're paying for is what they're getting. And there's there's a lot of unfortunately replica factories that are out there in China as well that are knocking off or ripping off the designs or the look uh, of a brand, and they'll pop them on Alibaba, AliExpress. Uh, at a very low, low price. And I mean, there's some of them that are that are legit and there's some that are just, you gotta be very, very careful. So um, always do your research, contact the sellers, talk to the people. If it's a website, be very careful because now there are a lot of pop-up websites that look very, very good, almost too good to be true. Same with the price uh, until you actually contact these people. And then if you do in fact get a scooter shipped to you, you may get on the back end a surprise from duties, taxes, um, shipping, that type of thing. So just be very, very careful when choosing a scooter out there uh, of and ask the right questions, see if you can contact a person that can actually speak with. Uh, that's very, very important in this day and age with AI, with um, uh, sites and, and, and apps that can mock photos that make it look so real and legit you just have to be very careful and um the old saying goes you know buyer beware so to start off the the mainstream brands are very good brands you know as long as you're picking a brand that is very well designed researched um there's many out there right now there's the apollos there's the uh, cabos there's the namis there's the dualtrons uh Tevern is is one of the big big brands that are popping into the market now in Blade. Um, but aside from that, there is a different category of scooters that are out there right now. More of the hyper scooters or the uh, exclusive uh, performance type scooters that are out there. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to answer some of the questions on why you would choose this over the many other different types of scooters that are out there currently. So to start off with a lot of the brands that are out there currently will have either cast aluminum uh, some of the higher end ones will have you know like a a forged aluminum frame um, these ones here are very very solid from from blade and tevron uh, the designs that go behind this is from mini motors so the koreans are still supervising the factories they have joined forces to produce this brand um, but it's i think it's very very um a solid solid scooter we, we've been really enjoying these ones here, and especially after having ride, ridden so many different scooters in the past little while. Um, it, it's been, you know, a, a blessing to be able to see what is good, what is not so good, and then what is really good, right? So great components. Uh, motors are still from a lot of the same brand factories, uh, Lanyo Motors or LY Motors in China. Um, controllers, many are still using Square Wave, but a lot of the brands now are using sine wave. So sine wave is a much quieter, better performing, uh, better range type of a controller. Uh, same with the batteries. Batteries also, many are using the Chinese cells and or the Chinese labeled as a LG or a Panasonic or you know whatever brand it is. Um, so be careful with those. You'll be able to see that when you open up the deck. Um, but the quality of the scooters, very good. Uh, um, can't go wrong. You know, it should last you anywhere from two to three years, if not more, as long as you take care of them and not abuse them. Ride them in water, despite what a lot of manufacturers say, you can ride them in water, you shouldn't. Because these motors are literally the closest point to moisture. When you hit any kind of 
water, especially when the motors are hot and your tires are flexible, any little bit of moisture will seep through those motors and those magnets, given time, not right away, but in due time, they will get through into the motors, causing rust and eventually destroying the motors and the magnets altogether. Um, so be wary of that. So why WePad? Why would somebody spend that kind of money on something like this over something like this? And maybe people will have started on one of these and moved their way up or started on something smaller and moved their way up to these. And they wanted something more exclusive, more unique, more um, exclusive and more performance oriented, right? It's almost like when you're buying a car, you go from, you know, your entry level vehicles, then eventually you'll get to the point where you want that ultimate toy, that, that, that motorcycle or that Ferrari or Corvette or Porsche or whatever it may be. And the scooters have kind of headed that direction as well into the hyper scooter category. And there's a lot of good brands out there that are slowly popping up. Um, but WePad has really dialed it down. Um, and they've been doing this since 2014 uh, in Korea. Very good brand. Started off in Korea as a small little shop. And then now they've grown to the big uh, factory that you see on many of their videos with the big parkade. Um, yes, they have had their issues with shipping, with, uh, with components, with customer service due to the language barrier, unfortunately, which is now being addressed through us, WePad North America, and uh, some of the other independent dealers that are out there that will be carrying the WePad brand. WePad has changed their styles numerous times over the last few years kind of a trial and error just seeing what is going to work what isn't going to work and they they've played with a lot of different designs have you seen as you've seen on the videos um the main line the main product line that will be out right now will be the ff2s which is a 84 uh, volt and then you've got the sonic line so the start of the sonic line will be the sonic x the sonic and then the sonic s which is the 100 volt 100.8 volt and 100 amp which is a giant compared to this one here, which is still quite large. As if you look at the the deck size and the length of this against the, the back of the box and how long it actually is, it is definitely not a bike path scooter. Um, it just wants to go. Unlike the regular scooters, which are more nimble, easy to manage, easy to maneuver, this thing is more like a straight line cruiser. Um, that's why you see them on, on the highways and the roads in Korea, which is one of the only places where you can ride those. But unfortunately, now they're starting to clamp down on the laws over there as well for speed. So this particular unit would be a 72 volt in Korea versus in North America is 84 volt. And now it's all about the, the wattage wars, the, the, the volts, who has the bigger motors, who has the bigger controllers and the batteries. And, you know, when is it going to stop? When is it, when is too much too much, right? And it's almost like when the sport bikes came out back in the 50s and 60s, people were always like, these things are so dangerous. Like, you know, you can kill yourself and, and it's so fast. You know, why would you want to go so fast on a bicycle or, or a motorbike or uh, even now on a scooter, right? And keep in mind, these things are only as dangerous as a person that is riding them. If you are using your common sense, being courteous, not speeding, not doing crazy things to hurt yourself or to hurt other people, you're going to be fine. And the authorities will leave you alone. You know, if you're just abiding by the rules, wearing your helmets, not cutting people off, like, you know, unfortunately, some cyclists that are out there as well, they're no different. You know, everyone has to respect the bike paths and, and the riding uh, regulations in the city or the country, wherever they're in. <clears throat> so... The build quality, that's one thing. The performance is another. Um, very bespoke production. You're paying for quality. Each stainless steel bolt and rivet that is put in here is secured either with Loctite or machined to the point where they will not fall off. And the ride is so solid and it's so planted compared to a lot of the different mainstream scooters that are out there that are mass produced either through machine or part human hand and machine uh, as well. It takes about 40 to 50 man hours to produce each weep head from top to bottom. Components, 90% of the components are from um, Korea and assembled all in Korea. 
and you'll get things like switches, brake handles, which will be from China, um, screens, voltmeters, those will all still be from China, right? So that's, that's pretty typical, but motors, controllers, uh, brakes, the frame from POSCO, which is Korea's largest metal factory. Everything is bespoke, custom cut through CNC machines. And it's just the detail. You're really paying for a work of art. The military grade charger. Dual suspension in the rear, single in the front. You've got dual caliper in the front and single in the back. The rotors are about 200 plus, I'm not exactly sure, rotors. Uh, you need that kind of stopping power for something this big. So, yes, you can, you can start off on something small and as you graduate up to something bigger and faster, and we never promote speeding or, or riding hazardly on freeways or anything like that. Anytime you have something like this, because it is so new, we don't, ruin, ruin, we don't want to ruin it for everybody else, right? So it is definitely a, uh, a machine that is custom produced, similar to like a Ferrari or a Bugatti or um, a custom produced vehicle of any sort. There is a wait time, but there is a reason why, because of the fact it takes time to produce something of this intricacy for a scooter. So you're, you're basically, yes, you're paying for the name, but you're also paying for the quality. You're paying for the performance. Uh, the ride is unlike anything else. Uh, the way everything is put together, the fit and finish is just, you can't explain it until you actually ride one of these and compare it with all the others that are out there. And, and once you do, then yes, you can justify purchasing one if you like. Um, we have this as a demo, so... Our customers here in North America or in Canada can come and uh, demo ride it just to see what it's like. But um, very, very different, unique. Uh, as I mentioned in my other previous video, there's no gearing like on the mainstream scooters where you have either one, two, three, four, five, eco mode. This thing is straight one gear go. And the throttle is very manageable. It's not gonna, there's no dead spot. It's very, um, manageable so you can gauge your speed very easily whether you're going really slow or if you're going really fast um, so yeah that that's it in a nutshell um, if there's any other questions feel free to comment below we appreciate the the support for us here in North America as a small business um, again we are very thankful for we pet Korea and we pet North America for the collaboration uh, to be able to promote unique machines for consumers to try something different you know if people have already ridden the, the mainstream scooters and they want that ultimate toy or or product or machine vehicle then this is where you can get one so thank you so much for watching uh, if you have any questions make sure to like and share uh, and subscribe and uh, we will see you soon in the next riding test video take care